know, when I first saw the, the booth uh, being, being built, it was uh, kind of awe-inspiring and it, it kind of uh, pushed us to finish the car and because and, we need to have the car there and in that space. Down to the wire, headed to CES tomorrow, opening day. I'm surrounded by people who basically make sacrifices to seemingly impossible uh, goals all of a sudden are achievable. Uh, you know, we made it. If you're not alone, you have you know, your friends, you have your teammates, you have your partners. Finish everything together um, and we trust. It's about trust and trusting in each other's abilities, right, to finish. And I think that is, that's, that's really an amazing uh, feeling, right, when, you, when you're working with a few other people um, trying to come uh, and complete like a common goal. It was a great success. Uh, we had a lot of buzz around the booth. I think I saw at least like a line of 50 people at all times throughout the day. Um, There's a lot of questions. A lot of people are very excited to know that we're here in LA and it's all being done in the US. The amount of energy everybody was giving out as far as Indy, the team as a whole, um, just very good energy and I think that helped a lot to, to attract people. It's just an amazing feeling to see both of them there and in the light and the spotlight and then the attraction of everybody coming to see, right, like what we've accomplished as a team. The motto of you do you is basically kind of like around that area, you know, you, you do what you do best and we'll provide you a solution to get you there. This guy that follows Tornado, right? I think he was just a great example of what we can offer. I love the car. I like the in-car camera, the cameras. I like the live streaming capability. I like the size of the tires because it offers off-road opportunity. I like the performance, the range. Everything about this car is conducive for me being successful with my project. Yeah. I'm going to, wearing a ballistic outfit, take this car, approach a tornado, get out and auger to the ground and, and walk into a tornado live. I want to live stream this on television. You will be able to watch this live on your phone. A vehicle that allows you to capture every event while you're driving and you're following a tornado, right? That's his, that's his niche, that's what he likes to do. And you know, I'm glad that we can bring something to him, a solution you know, to, the, to the table and meet his expectations. You need a vehicle to enjoy your adventure and this is the vehicle that can transport me to where I wanna go. So I was actually uh, the driver for the VR offsite experience. We had a great positive uh, effect on everyone that showed up. Uh, everyone was excited, they had a lot of fun. It makes you feel very immersed in the vehicle. Um, as the vehicle moves, you also move inside the game. Now cars are not uh, just a piece of hardware, but they are moving towards what technology is, like you know, tablets or phones, that it doesn't matter the hardware you have it. The, the thing that matters is what you are able to do with it. So for me, the VR game opened a whole new world of opportunities of what can you do on a car. We took them on various ride rounds and they were all very excited to, to see what could uh, come from that potential of uh, the VR gaming. Yeah, I don't think in, uh, any computer also offer a VR experience uh, as we do. I know, for example, they are starting to enable some uh, gaming capabilities within their um, vehicle displays, but since they do not have such uh, computing power as we do with uh, our integrated computer, they, they do not have this uh, capacity that we do to provide uh, a full VR uh, experience within a vehicle. Seeing all the people, you know, come out and, and checking out, you know, what we're all about and being such a small company was, I think, that, that much more rewarding. A lot of people don't know who, who we are as a group, um, but as we uh, enter into this new era of electric vehicles and being industry disruptors, um, seeing that, I think you got to come out and, and check it out. So it's like almost... You know, you're making a believer out of these people and, and, and people come to see that and, and they're just blown away. It's interesting that it was a bit challenging to convince some of the vendors to work with us. I have clear examples of the people who said no before CES. Now they are approaching us to see how we can collaborate. One of the things that we got asked when we were at the event um, and we were driving people around was, 
you know, can we drive this car? When can we drive it, you know? And I think that's something we can look forward to uh, the next event. We had a lot of people coming over and asking us, you know, uh, when did you guys start building? You know, how long has the company been, you know, in business for? And, you know, they were just amazed with the, the product we brought to the table.